At this point, I feel like we can all just conclude that Jareed actually is very much attracted to Mbumi. I mean, by the way, he speaks to her. Okay, <laughs> guys, I'm just joking. I mean, the way he is now was probably the way he was with Liema at first. My problem right now is the fact that I cannot just trust Jareed, to be honest. But the way he's be he behaves around Bumi and around Liema is a bit different. I don't know, maybe with Liema is probably because he knows he can take advantage at any time of the day. I don't know, guys. By the way, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, and welcome. So please do make sure that you hit the subscribe button. You turn on your notification bells. You can only just receive up to three notifications. And usually I post more than three videos a day. So meaning that you have to come back and check if I had posted new content or not. And also don't forget to like, comment, share my channel or my videos with your friends, your colleagues and people around you that you know that they love Big Brother. So guys, let's just get straight to the point. Out of everything that Jareed had said to Mbumi yesterday, you know what took me out? What took me out was the fact that he kept on saying that you will always have a special place in my heart. I mean, he's always been saying that he loves Mbumi. It's not a secret. I mean, he's always been on that. But finally, he actually said it out loud this time around that, you know what, no matter what happens, whether I'm with somebody else in this house or not, you will definitely always have a special place in my heart because you are definitely someone that I would go for. Guys, one thing about Jared, Jared will hype Mpumi, whether Mpumi is there or not whether he's talking to Pumi or he's talking to other housemates one thing Jared will not fail to do is to hype Mbumi you know the fact that also he mentioned that um he told Liema that uh he's not finding it easy living amongst his temptations and Pumi kept on saying that okay is it me am I the temptation so obviously he admitted that yeah you are my temptation because like it's like every time i try to do something with uh the han the han he's refer referring to liema you just come out of no of no way and start twerking and start doing that uh stripping shit and all of that and i'm like hey this guy so like he's literally noticing everything that Mpumi does because if you also know you will know that any chance that Mpumi gets whenever Jared is around she will start twerking she will start stripping and doing all those kind of things you know from Pumi's side she had already told big brother and already admitted that she is sexually attracted or sexually lasting Jared you know so for Jared as well this was some sort of like at him admitting the fact that yeah he is also somehow sexually attracted to the girl you know all of this is just way too crazy because when liema was crying because uh jared was actually initiating the breakup the first person who went on to try and talk to to uh liema was definitely Mpumi. guys you know a snake in a grass hey i mean this is the kind of content that we want at the end of the day it's siamosha right but mpumi is nothing but a snake in the grass because why would she still go and pretend i feel like 
the reason she went to uh, to Liema to actually cheer her up was not because she really felt sorry for her or she felt pity for her. It was just to try and find out more from her what's really what really go- went down be- between her and Jared because she really she really because Mbomi is standing on business. She wants to know where she stands with Jared because during their conversation, she actually told Jared that at some point he will have to choose between her and Liema. Guys, the audacity. Okay, I'm not actually blaming her because this is a game and she's there to get what she wants. And she said the other day she told Pale that she will snatch the Jared. It doesn't matter what ta- what it takes or how long it takes. But at the end of the day, Jared will end up with her. And the oh, like I'm starting to even realize even more and more as day go, days and weeks goes by that, okay, Bumi is not really into Jared for love. I mean, okay, she's also said this herself. But I feel like she's just only there to just scatter the ship, just to break the relationship between Liema and Jared. Because yesterday, Liema slept, and um, after a while, she was not, you know, going about the whole guarding thing and being be going around like being a security guard and stuff. She was peacefully sleeping. You know what? Timpumi was not even bothered to like. Uh, invite Jared in the toilet like they usually do like sneaking around and all of that I feel like she keeps doing that only when Liema is what I wild wide <laughs> wide awake and is very much like when she's able to see what's going on you know but when she's peaceful sleeping she doesn't want to distract or anything she's j- like she just want to have a conversation like she was having with Jerry le- yesterday she kept on leading him on and on and on after some time she also went to sleep like peacefully like that just like that so guys this whole entire situation honestly it's a mess and it's kind of toxic like if you're not strong enough you will not take it as for Liema, Liema is not really strong enough for this game. One thing I've realized. But I think she will pull through. She will definitely pull through. She probably knows what she got herself into. And then she will also see a way out. Yeah, I guess so. So guys, I think I'll just have to end my video here. You make sure that you come and let me know about what you think about all of this that had gone down yesterday actually in the ams it was today so let me know what you think about everything that actually went down i'll just have to love and leave you i will see you guys on my next video but for now it's a goodbye